Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, interesting stuff as Bob Aram, the Bob Father, signs another blue chip prospect to top rank boxing, and he comes in the form of two time gold medalist, 2012 gold medalist, 2016 gold medalist from Cuba. Robisi Ramirez. Now, you may not know Robisi Ramirez by name, but you definitely know him by accomplishment because you may not know you may not know about what he did in the amateurs, but you definitely you definitely know about what he did what he, what he did to a fun fighter because he is the man responsible for giving Shakur Stevenson a loss in the gold medal match in the 2016 uh, Olympics back in Rio. He was the man who beat him in, in in the 2016 Olympics in Rio and made him cry. So we're going to get to Robisi Ramirez and his amateur exploits and what Bobby Aram said to him a little bit later on in the video. But I wanted to take the time to just talk about what I believe to be the most inter interesting thing about, about this deal. Um, Ramirez signs a top rank. You know, he's with Bobby Aram. He's going to be at featherweight, which is the same exact weight class that Corey Stevenson is campaigning at. And, you know, this is a kid who has bags and bags of talent. He has a lifetime of experience in the amateurs. He's going to be someone that is fast-tracked because he's turning pro at the same exact age as Vasily Machenko. And so because of that, you know, it presents the opportunity that, that in the very not-too-distant future, we might just see a rematch between Shakur Stevenson and Robisi Ramirez. And, and, and wouldn't that be something, you know, uh, a rematch between two exceptional talents in the sport of boxing. You know, Shakur's been coming into his own, been showing himself to be a, a hell of a fighter uh, as he comes up the ranks. He should be challenging for a world title any 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 time now. Um, but, you know, I would love to see the rematch uh, between these two because uh, Reese Ramirez outskilled him and beat him in the amateur. So, yeah, that, that's probably the most interesting thing to me about, about this whole signing. Uh, Robicio Ramirez joins top rank as, as their only other two-time gold medalist. The other two-time gold medalist is this guy named Vasily Lomachenko. And I think we can all agree that that guy, Lomachenko, he's, he's pretty good at boxing. You know, this guy, this Lomachenko guy is pretty good at boxing, you know. So, um, you know, he's in, he's in rarefy there. He's in elite company. Um... And he will be fast-tracked. Uh, Bob Aram had a press conference to announce the signing of Robic Ramirez, and, and here's, here's what he said in regards to Robic Ramirez. He said, I quote, What a gift to sign a two-time Olympic gold medalist like Robic Ramirez. The last time we signed a two-time gold medalist out of the amateurs, it was Vasily Mancheco, and he has become a big star. We, antis we anticipate the same from Robic. He is a truly special talent, and he has what it takes to get to the top of the featherweight division in short order. So there you have it. There you have it. Um, BC Ramirez, you know, thought of highly by Bob Arum. And, it, and it's interesting, so to speak about Ramirez himself, he's one of them fighters, man, where if he didn't defect from Cuba all those, uh, you know, last year, because he, 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 if he defected from Cuba, went to Mexico, he had a chance, if he, if, if he, if he, if he, if he wanted to, he could have went down as one of the most legendary amateurs of all time because of the fact that, uh, you know, he's already won two gold medals. And if he didn't defect, he'd be preparing right now. If he didn't defect from Cuba last year, He'd be preparing right now for the 2020 Olympics, and if he won, if he would have won, uh, if he would have won a third gold medal, I mean, there's not been a lot of boxers to win three gold medals, and the the lion's share, the majority of boxers who have won three gold medals, have all been uh, Cuban fighters, guys like Atilio uh, Filio Stevenson, uh, Felix Savone. These these those two fighters were exceptional Cuban amateur heavyweights that didn't turn pro, but both were, they were so good that they were offered world title fights for their pro debut. And in the case of Tilia Filio Stevenson, he was actually offered like $4 million to fight Muhammad Ali. So he would have been in that class of amateurs. So it says a lot to what kind of amateur he was. And obviously amateurs and the pros are different, but he does have talent. He is an exceptional talent. And he is someone that you're gonna wanna keep an eye out for because if, we could, if we've learned anything about how top rank handled Vasily Lomachenko, it's, it, it, it's this. That if you have the talent, if you have the experience, if you are ready for the world championship level and you, and you, and you turn pro later on in your life, that they will fast track you. They will let you, uh, you know, experience world title fights as early as your second professional world fight. So we, we could be seeing Ramirez fighting Shakur Stevenson in the very not so distant future. future we, we could see him fighting the likes of maybe Oscar Valdez or, or, or Josh Warrington or who knows, man. You know, the, the, the possibilities for this kid are endless, but uh, Bob Aram has done it again. He has signed another standout amateur sensation. Whether or not this guy works out as well as Lomachenko, that remains to be seen. That's, that's a big ask because Lomachenko is an exceptional fighter with an exceptional skill set, and he is not the norm in boxing. So it's hard to live up to that standard, but 
you know, this guy Ramirez is, is very talented, you know, he's Cuban, so I know, I know there's a stigma that comes with a lot of Cuban fighters, like people will say things like, Cuban fighters are boring, they just want to jab, 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 circle the ring, jab, 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 circle the ring, jab, 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 clinch, circle the ring. They have a stigma to them where they're boring. But this guy, if you watch a fight, he's a southpaw, he, he's, he's very slick, you know, he likes to throw the pull counter, you know, so you'll see him jab, jab, you know, who kind of slip, let, let, let the punch sail over his right shoulder, pull counter, bang, left over the top. Fights in a very uh, smooth, slick, and calm manner. And, uh, you know, for those of you who out there who have watched Shakur Stevenson, I mean, I want you guys to let's use some common sense here and let's think. Shakur Stevenson is an exceptional talent. Shakur Stevenson is a guy that has, a fighter that has a reputation for being very slick, very smooth in the pocket, very compact and crisp with his punches. Now, this guy outboxed him in the Olympics, okay? He outskilled a very highly skilled man. So what, that should tell you right there everything you need to know about Robisi Ramirez. Also, the fact that he had two gold medals, could have won three, but now he's a pro. Now he's looking to do damage in the pros. He's looking to follow in the long lineage of, 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 of fighters from Cuba who have defected uh, and won world titles, you know, uh, like guys like Guillermo Rigondeaux and, and, and Oleta Solis and, and uh, Luis Ortiz and just all, all these guys who had good amateur pro, uh, careers in Cuba but that would, that would go on to have good professional careers, you know, um, you know, Lara as well, you know, so that's the news, uh, Top Rank has signed Cuban Amateur Sensation, and I know that gets, that, that term gets thrown out a lot, uh, and sometimes these guys are from Cuba who are just good amateurs, where they weren't necessarily sensations, this guy was a Cuban Amateur Sensation to the highest degree, and we're going to be keeping our eyes on him here on True School Sports, in the professional ranks of boxing. I, I do know that Shakur Stevens has said in the past that he wants a rematch with this guy. And we know that top rank is no stranger to making rematches from the amateurs. You know, they just made the fight with Michael Collin and the guy he lost to uh, in, in the amateurs um, where he flicked everybody off. So, you know, they, 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 they are, they've shown the ability to do this. They might, I would anticipate that they do this probably within the first 18 months of him signing. So that's the news. Two time gold medals, Blasphemy Mirrors turns pro under the top rank banner, Shakur Stevenson. Looks like he'll be getting his uh, chance at revenge, and we'll see what happens. But leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, like I say in every single one of these videos. You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take your ass.